Alright. We got Poland, Nathan Viper. We're going in the game one of the winter semifinals. And we got Payneta and Min Min. Now, I haven't been able to see too many Min Min's be played. It's, like it's going to be one of the first ever sets that I've ever get to win this group of Min Min on screen. Like, let's see what we have in store. Oh my gosh, and Min Min going absolutely insane already, just putting on the pressure. Easy 57%. Alright, now Nathan just playing out that main stage, that middle stage game. He's just trying to space him out. Fuller's going to try and fight his way back in. Nathan Viper doing a really, really good job of spacing him out right now with these uh, projectiles. I'm just going to refer to uh, Min Min's arms as just projectiles because it's basically what they are. Oh, he tries to catch him with that up smash and gets punished for it. This is the first hit that Polar's been able to find and fortunately gets punished by that Nair. I believe that's what that was from Min Min. What a strong Nair, too. He killed off the top. Polar finally able to find some aggression for himself, some momentum. Big hit, puts him in an edge guy situation, but that get up gets him back on the stage. What a down tilt from Nathan, but... Fortunately, gets pushed off stage. Fast down tilt. Almost ca finds himself in a good situation, but Polar's just fighting right back. Trying to catch that get up. Good patience from Polar, but gets grabbed a little. He's tackled on 41% right now. Nathan doing a really, really good job of just surviving. Unfortunately, gets caught by that up he Survives it, though. Quick grab from Polar, puts him in an offstage situation. On oh, that lingering Nair just stayed out for so long and caught Nathan Viper, smacked him against the stage. Gotta bring that back from Polar though. That was a huge deficit, he brought it back. Great mental. Nathan doing a great job though, still spacing him out. What a witch time from Polar. Turns the situation around. And it almost turns this game completely back around and... Oh, we got an even game. We got an even game, ladies and gentlemen. Back here from Polar gets the edge guard situation. Goes really deep and almost gets punished for it. Nathan has his back against the wall. Gets the hit and turns it back around. A little slow on that forward smash. Catches him with the backside of the nair. Jeez, that's a really good nair. Oh, the pressure from the smash attacks, and what good spacing from Nathan Viper backs it up and hits him with that up smash. With that middle stage, Polar just trying to get this hit, trying to take the stock, make it an even game again. Good patience on the up B. Tries to mess up Nathan Viper's timing, but... Ooh. Nathan throws out that move and gets punished. And that lingering there, that mayor just stays out for so long. Gets him with the gimp with the upbeat. Really good idea from Polar. Just hit him with that multi hit. Just take away his jumps and just put him in a weird spot. But oh my gosh, Nathan might have just done it right back. Oh my god, what coverage from Nathan, Nathan Viper. That's so insane. Oh, and what charge. He held that forward smash. Was patient. Waited for Polar to make that mistake and rocked him. And Nathan Viper takes game one of winner semifinals. Nathan Viper has disappeared from the camera. Dude, Min Min's insane. Character's wild, bro. Like, I've played Min Min myself, but like, that's not enough information to be like, yeah, know what this character is capable of. Nathan Vipers putting on a show.
Okay, but that's not how you can take a boil. <laughs> no, no. It's like online. Yeah, online. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Attacks, just going through each other, not hitting each other. Cool, cool. Min Min doing the spacing, hitting them with the arms. We're just trying to fill each other out, and trying to get that first hit. And there's the first hit that we're looking for. And down to it. get the first combo of the game, gets the 29%. Big grab from Nathan Viper, almost turns it around. Big punish though. They're just hitting them each other. But Hitting each other back and forth, just sharing their jabs. It's really even game right now. <laughs> Poor recovering high, unfortunately gets grabbed, and Nathan does a great job of catching, catching that jump. Poor stuck on this platform, finds his way back in, tries to punish that, but gets out of it regardless. Ooh, and that second forward smash catches Polar out of the jump. I can see now that look, the pressure on shields can be absolutely insane with Min Min forcing you to make an action and then catching that second action. But that's just dirty. Good punish from Polar. Unfortunately, can't find too much off of it, though. That witch time coming in clutch, though. It's the forward smash. Gets clipped by that little fair, though. Great grab from Nathan Viper. Attacking out a lot of percentage with this third stock. 94 to 68. Rolls behind him, doesn't find anything. What a that nair is insane. That converts into fair. That's insane, dog. Just rolling back and forth. Doesn't get punished for it. That's insane, dude. I don't even know what to say for that. <laughs> like, oh. And he catches him with that forward smash on the ledge, and Nathan Viper's up two, uh, three stocks to one. Has a commanding lead in this set right now. Goes for the dash attack, gets punished for it, but still finds a fair out of it, like a forward smash. Like, what do you call that? Is that a forward tilt? Yeah, it's a tilt, right? That's insane. So basically, you could do like a tilt into a forward smash. Like, that's insane. It was for the grab on the ledge, that could have been absolutely dirty if he grabbed that. And Polar does a great job of being patient, waiting for that air dodge, and finds the first stock of this game. Nathan Viper up two stocks to one. Nathan not slowing down though. What do you do? <laughs> like, what? Oh, I missed the first board smash. Are you ready for the second one? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I guess you just gotta be really careful and wait for both arms to be used, but... It feels like Min Min can still kind of follow up if you miss both with both arms with like a nair or something or a down tilt. A lot of option coverage. We're going with a character swap going into the game to the controller. He's gonna swap over to Pit. 
I have seen him play some pit. Three, two, one, see how this pick was going. Going back to Town City. So far, it's still the same start as the last two games, kind of just like feeling each other out with these aerials, just trying to get those hits. Just jabbing each other left and right, but Nathan Viper finds himself in a good situation. Might be for another fair. Or just having a really hard time staying on the ground, finding himself his way back down. Anthony Viper just doing a really, really good job of spacing everything. Following up his option coverage, too. Yup, Polar was patient that time, waited for the second smash attack, and then got covered again by a third option. That's insane. Waits for that get up. Oh, read from Nathan, thought Polar would go high. Polar just opts to go low. He's at 160% though. Nathan's just big chilling. Almost gets a game chop trade. Kind of works out for Polar though. Yep, waiting for both arms now, but unfortunately tries to run in and gets caught for it. Oh, that nair though. That nair might be what Polar needs. Goes for the back air and unfortunately doesn't find anything. Ooh. Luckily, Pit can come back from that, but with a lot of characters, Polar would have died right there. And here we are with the spacing. Doing a really good job of putting a lot of pressure with these arms. Following up in one arm with another, but Polar did a really good job of just keeping Nathan out. Didn't really even need to hit him, just put on the pressure and forced him to make a mistake. Catches him with that down tilt. That down tilt's a really good option to quickly catch you. Especially if these like the arms coming at your face and then comes quickly down low. Nice little nair from Polar and finds another one. Goes for the arrow. Doesn't catch anything. It's a little bit off its timing. Aw, oh, unfortunately miss spaces that up the can't grab onto the ledge. Nathan tried to go high and change his positioning up, and Polar almost got it. Like, fortunately, uh, the percentage prevented him from dying, but he was so high up. Good little drag down. That's what he wants to get these combos started. And Polar's only finding these like two little two-hit conversions that aren't tacking on too much percent, and Nathan just is forcing him out. Ooh, good arrow though. Another arrow. Yes, those arrows are doing a really great job. It's always great to see uh, Pitts follow up with arrow edge guards because that is one of Pitts' best ways to put on pressure. Follows up with two up airs. Nathan's stuck on this platform right now. Finds his way back. Unfortunately, sends the forward smash the wrong way and puts himself in a bad situation. This pit nair is putting on a, a show. Waits for the up smash and almost catches him, gets punished though. Nathan in a weird spot. Catches him with that dash attack. Goes for an up smash, almost finds him. That back air though. Oh, that grab though. Dude. Polar went for that down tilt. Fortunately, hit on shield, and that's all Nathan Viper needed to do to be able to find that grab and finds it on that platform and takes. That was game three, I forgot to update the score. That was game three, everyone. Sorry to not update the score, but that was 